How to buy XRP in the United States of America. That's exactly what we're going to be discussing today. And with the recent news of XRP being classified as not a security, we are going to go through the new ways that you guys can now buy it because this has changed since the last time we have made this video. And if you do like to stay up to date with the cryptocurrency markets, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can get notified when I make a video because I bring all of the important information that you need to know as quickly as possible to this YouTube channel. And with that said, please, of course, do your research into the different methods that I speak about on this channel before implementing them yourselves, because you need to be sure that they do suit your own personal needs. So let's jump into this. First of all, remember that a lot of exchanges both don't hold XRP and or don't allow access from US citizens. There is a number of exchanges here. I currently have my VPN set to the US, so I see the same thing that people in the US see. And most of these exchanges don't allow anyone from the US to join. And of course, we would never do it if we were inside of the US, but there are situations where you can use a VPN to access websites that don't allow you to from certain jurisdictions in the world. And there is a link down there in my description to the VPN service that I personally use. But moving on from that, we do have a couple of exchanges that I've checked to see if you can access them from the US and it seems like you can. Now, first of all, we have Femex here where you can just sign up within 30 seconds with an email address. You can head over to Markets, Spot, and you can search here XRP and it can come up here. So USDT or USDC, you can trade XRP there. Another exchange that you can potentially use is BitGet. As of making this video, you do not need to KYC in order to withdraw or deposit from BitGet as long as the transactions are not too big. Now, please go and read the terms and conditions. You can sign up and read the terms and conditions before you deposit any money on any exchange. Please do take into consideration that as this video is live, things may change. There may be differences here. But if you do want to check out the centralized exchanges that I personally use. They are linked down there in my description and they all have really generous sign up bonuses if you do follow my links. And another really popular exchange that people in the US have told me all over that they can buy XRP is Uphold. You'll be able to sign up here directly from the US without using a VPN and you can buy and sell XRP and a number of other cryptos directly on this platform. And if you do want to go over and find your own centralized exchange that you're personally using, you can head to CoinMarketCap, you can click on XRP, you can click on then Markets and you can come here and see all of the different exchanges. Now, there are some new exchanges that have recently relisted XRP like Coinbase. Coinbase could be the best option if you are new to crypto, but you want a very simple method of buying XRP. They have very recently relisted it because of the court case and the ruling that XRP is not a security. So again, Coinbase is one that a lot of you guys should be able to access with no issues. And depending on where you are, you should be able to directly connect your debit or credit card directly to the exchange and buy and sell. But if you do want to use an exchange, exchange where your credit card is not accepted. You'll need to actually figure out a way to buy USDT, which is a stable coin, and then transfer that USDT over to the exchange that holds XRP. And in order to get your USDT over to whatever exchange it is, you can use Binance.us. You can buy USDT on Binance.us and you can take that off that and put it onto one of these exchanges. For example, Femex, if that is still working for you guys. Now, on top of this, there is a way that you can 100% get XRP in the US without using a centralized exchange directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to PancakeSwap. There is currently a pair with USDT and XRP. This is on the Binance Smart Chain though, all right? This is XRP wrapped on the Binance Smart Chain. The way this basically works is you take XRP, you put it into one vault, that vault then spits out a wrapped version of XRP on the Binance Smart Chain, right? So what you're holding is a synthetic version of XRP. But what I think other exchanges may reopen their trading of XRP, and you may very well be able to deposit it onto Binance or whatever centralized exchange on the Binance Smart Chain, and that will be instantly converted one for one back into XRP when you take it off on the Ripple networks. And if you are wondering how you actually would buy this wrapped XRP on the Binance Smart Chain, all you need to do is set yourself up a MetaMask wallet. There are many videos out there on how to do this. You then need to add the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask. And in order to do that, all you need to do is head to your MetaMask, click on where it says here, Ethereum mainnet or whatever it says that you're on. Scroll down to add new network. And then you wanna type in this information here. You can simply look on Google, 
Find this information, chain ID, network URL, network name, and then you'll have the Binance Smart Chain within your MetaMask. And all you'll need to do from there is send from any centralized exchange or wherever you hold your crypto, maybe it's on Ledger, maybe it's on Binance, whatever it is, you need to send your crypto to your MetaMask on the Binance Smart Chain. Now you can do this with essentially any crypto that your exchange will allow to be able to send on the Binance Smart Chain. But if your exchange only has BNB as a token, but they don't give you the ability to send out on the Binance Smart Chain, just simply send BNB to your MetaMask address. Once you get it over here, you can just choose whatever token it is. Let's go for BNB, click XRP here. And to make sure you have the right XRP token, head back to XRP on CoinMarketCap, copy and paste this contract address. So copy here, Binance Chain BEP20, head back to PancakeSwap, go here, paste in that contract address and it will come up there. And then you can swap, let's say 100 BNB, if that's what you have for 71,000 XRP, or just simply one BNB for however much it calculates here, 713. So you need to connect your wallet, go through the process, allow a few different exchanges to happen. And then you'll have XRP wrapped on the Binance Smart Chain in your MetaMask. This price is pegged to the price of XRP because those XRPs are sitting in that vault situation that I explained earlier. But again, guys, I do want to just say here right now, I don't run the Binance Smart Chain. I can't 100% vouch for this. This is something that I personally do, but there is risks, right? There's risks of hacks. There's risks of crashes. There's risks of anything, right? So please make your own decision up if you are going to follow these steps. It's up to you if you do want to do that. And there is also one other way you can do it right now over on the Ledger Live app, which I personally use the Nano X right here. On the app that you get with this, you can swap directly into XRP on that app. So if you hold USDT on Ledger or something like that, you can swap it in the app to XRP, but the fees within Ledger are very high. Also, the spread is large. So the difference in price that you'll get from a centralized exchange or potentially on PancakeSwap is very large, right? So you're going to be paying a lot more to do that. Personally, I would be happy holding XRP wrapped on the Binance Smart Chain, but this comes with its risks because the Binance Smart Chain might go down. Binance might go down. Something like that might happen, right? I don't think it's going to happen, but it may happen. So there is risks involved. So with that said, guys, let me know down there in the comment section if you're in the US and you found another way to actually get XRP or if there are exchanges that are allowed in the US that currently stock XRP. I would love to hear from you guys and I will make an update when I find these new ways for you. If you like this video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.